You know what? I don't like your attitude. I'm gonna shell smash again. Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Regulation E, where today it is about 6 a.m. My wife's asleep. I'm gonna try my best not to wake her up, so we're gonna be as chill as we can. Um, this team comes to us, well, I saw it on James Beck's YouTube. Um, I think Bruno used this team as well, our good friend Bruno. Um, but this team was made by Manuel Barea on Twitter. Um, I'll put their, their link down in the description. Anyway, they used this team in a premiere challenge. And, um, got top 8 with this team, which is very funny. So... We're going to use it because Mag Cargo is very funny. Um, it's And it's not even that crazy of a set. Like, <clears throat> it's just Shell Smash into Flamigo, which is kind of amazing. Um, so, yeah, basically running Shell Smash Mag Cargo. The idea here is we like kind of lead like Clefairy Mag Cargo. We Shell Smash. Um, the White Herb, you know, set, resets our defense and special defense drops. And then we just like sweep with Mag Cargo Flamigo. Um, now we have other Pokemon like backing that mode up, but that's that's basically it. That's the whole idea of the team. We have Iron Bundle, King Gambit, Rillaboom. We're running Terra Fairy, Terra Blast, King Gambit, which honestly makes a lot of sense. I I get it, you know? Beats Iron Hands. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we've got like a pretty standard... Oh, Swords Dance. Actually, it's Swords Dance, Rillaboom. I was going to say it's pretty standard, but Swords Dance, Rillaboom is not pretty standard. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, and Sing Clefairy? Jeez Louise. <laughs> I didn't look at this team very hard, I guess. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a pretty straightforward strategy, but it's the kind of thing that's going to catch people off guard, and that's really fun. Um, Dragon Terra on Mag Cargo is really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I like Mag Cargo. It's a fun Pokemon. It's like, it's like Colossal, but worse most of the time, but actually... With this Shell Smash kind of a thing, it might be colossal but better right now, you know? Um, but yeah, the EV spreads aren't crazy either. It's all pretty straightforward EV spreads. Like, the Mag Cargo is just max special attack, max speed. The Flamigo is pretty much just max speed, max attack. Kind of cool. Um, but let's jump into some games here. Hopefully we get some good games. I am not in Master Ball tier. I have not played... I played one game yesterday during the live stream with my Stress Cup team. That was a mistake. <laughs> that didn't go very well. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get some good games. As always, guys, if you like this video, leave me a big fat like. Leave me a comment. We just broke 2,000 subscribers. Congratulations to us. The parody of Cruel Summer is coming, I promise. Um, still working on the lyrics. It's a weird song. Um... What was I going to say? But if you would like to see that, subscribe. Or, you know, other amazing VGC content, subscribe for that as well. Hopefully we don't play like crazy people because we're... You know. Um, alright. So, like, they have Heatran. But other than Heatran, who's stopping Meg Cargo? Nobody. Nobody on this team is stopping Meg Cargo. <laughs> I'm going for it. Just like, full on, straight up, I'm going for it. <clears throat> I wonder what we KO. What's Mag Cargo special attacks at? I actually have no idea. 90. That's not bad. That's more than Colossal special attack. Okay, Fluttermane Tornadoes. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Ooh, Shiny Mag Cargo is so pretty. I didn't know that's what Shiny Mag Cargo looked like. It's so pretty. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to straight up Shell Smash follow me. Actually, do I even need to follow me? They're probably just going to go for spread moves, right? I could protect this turn. I'm going to protect this turn. I think it's pretty safe. Mag Cargo shouldn't go down to either of these Pokemon. Maybe a Shadow Ball would hurt. But I feel like they're probably going to... Oh, okay, that's fine, actually. Sunny day. Just don't click Shadow Ball. We'll be fine. 
pa 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 Oh, we got we got gamed. Man, what a read to make. Uh, can I even win anymore? I don't even know, man. That's pretty rough, actually. <clears throat> I'm pretty sad about how that went. I didn't know they were just gonna power gem me. Jesus Christ. Okay, what do we do? Is there a way out of this? Is there a way out of this? I'm gonna Terra Fire. I'm gonna Swords Dance. And I'm gonna sing this guy. <laughs> Maybe Fluttermane switches. Because they're, they're, they might be locked in a power gem? Yeah, okay. Maybe I can maybe I can still win this, but it's going to be very scary. Their own Rillaboom. Interesting. Okay. kind of wish I had Terra Blast right now. Oh, man, I really wasn't expecting a turn one power gem. Just straight up ignoring the fact that I have redirection. That's crazy. I guess I made a pretty bold play, but... What is this team? Substitute Tornadus? Sing's a sound based move. Sing's a sound based move. I can still land the sing. We have a chance, guys. We missed. No chance. <clears throat> what a crazy team this is. Alright, let's see how much this Grassy Glide does, I guess. I'm probably just gonna get faked out, but whatever. No fake out. Okay. Man, they are so aggressive. What an aggressive team this is. They are just making the most aggressive play possible every turn. Do we break the sub with that? Please? We do. Okay. That's pretty good. Stomping tantrum. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. This is a tough spot to be in, guys. Um, what's my highest damaging move? Is it really Grassy Glide? I think it is. Let's Grassy Glide the Rillaboom. Let's go for another Sing. Yeah, I figured they would just substitute again. Substitute Tornadus is really good in theory, but... Okay, that's a decent chunk of damage. Another one of those with a Helping Hand actually KOs. Does Clefairy live? Clefairy lives. Clefairy, you're so good. And we land the Sing, which is amazing. Okay. Alright, we're back in the game, guys. <clears throat> Ooh, I don't even need a helping hand anymore. I can protect and not get grassy glided. The only thing is that we're going to lose terrain here pretty soon. And that's pretty bad. Um, I mean, even if they have Heatran right now, I feel like we'll be okay. They don't know that we have high horsepower. And I still have Flamigo, which can copy the plus two attack. Ooh, that's so good. Hmm. Do I have any reason to not just Grassy Glide the Chien Pao? I kind of want to get Flamigo in, but I don't want to just, like, die. You know? Let's do this. It's probably Sash anyway. <clears throat> no Protect or anything. Yeah, there's the Sash. What does Chien Pao go for? 
Lash out. Okay, that's not too bad. Tornado stays asleep. That's great. Sing, we miss. But that's okay, too. Is this the last turn of Grassy Terrain, though? I think it is. Yeah. That's kind of rough, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Do we think this Chien Pao protects? I almost do. But they've been playing so aggressively, you know what I mean? They've got no reason to protect. Right? Because... <clears throat> no protect, see? Okay. I live a lash out, probably. Do they go for- they're smart. They're smart. Alright, so we lose Kofari. Um, as long as Rillaboom doesn't die, we'll be okay. Miss? No miss. Live? Rillaboom lives. That's great. Uh, this is so stressful, guys. So we're gonna KO this guy. If I still had terrain, I would feel pretty confident, but... You know, to be fair, the fact that we've gotten this far with just Swords Dance Rillaboom is pretty awesome. But now, the Flutterman gets to come in. Man, I really didn't think that we're just going to Power Gem turn one. That's really disappointing. And I don't eat anything with this Flamigo right now. So what do I do? I mean, I think all I can do is this. I think I just lose anyway, but... I don't know, they could, like, miss, I guess. I think I just go down to a D-Gleam, to be honest, but... We're terrestrializing. <coughs> Hera Fairy? Yep. What a jerk. Well, just To just power jam so freely turn... I should have just followed me. I just thought I was gonna be like super like smart and go for a stupid play. That's so disappointing. All right, well, we'll get him next time. Next time I will just follow me. <laughs> It'll be okay. That, that turn one was heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. I'm pretty sad. <clears throat> it's gonna be okay. We'll get them next time. <clears throat> we got pretty close that game, honestly. <clears throat> that team that team was also just very mean. Oh, man, will I ever get to Master Ball? <laughs> Will I ever get to Master Ball? <sighs> I can't believe they just took all the wind out of my sails turn one with, with their power gem. That's kind of nuts. I thought I was going to be safe. I really did. I guess if I had known they had power gem, I definitely would have just gone for follow me. But how was I supposed to know? I run Power Gem on Fluttermain, but most people do not, honestly. Most people are not running Power Gem Fluttermain. And now we're going to take forever to find an opponent. Okay. Medusas. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Um, this is doable, actually. <clears throat> I can deal with this. I'm going to bring the same mons. I think that's fine. The only mon that's scary is Palafin, and it's only scary if it has Haze. If this is Haze, Palafin, we just cry. Though maybe Helping Hand Power Jump... Eh, I don't want to eat a Jet Punch. I guess I can Terrastalize. That's fair. It's going to be okay. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Hmm, <laughs> this is Mad Cargo's game, guys. I can feel it. All right, what you got? That is, in fact, Palafin. Palafin's scream tail is interesting. Are they gonna like perish song? They didn't have any trapping, but they could perish song. They're probably faster than me. Ooh, okay. They're probably gonna howl, right? I'm just gonna sell shell smash. Follow me. I got no reason to do anything else right now. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what this scream tail is gonna do, but if I had to guess, I would say it's gonna howl. Let's see. Noble roar. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Noble Roar into Flip Turn. Okay, that's fine. Clefairy doesn't care about that. That's absolutely okay. Noble Roar is kind of scary, though. I have played the Noble Roar Scream Tail. It's good to at least know one of its moves, because Scream Tail can really just do whatever it wants sometimes. <laughs> They're taking their sweet time picking stuff, though. Let me tell you. <laughs> Sorry for the coughing. It's... I literally just woke up, so I'm like... My voice probably sounds weird, and... Coughing, and... My nose is stuffed. Okay, okie dokie. Shell smash. Is the shell shiny, too? That's weird. Isn't the shell usually a different color for Shell Smash? Honestly, that was pretty good. I can just like straight up Heat Wave here, I almost feel like. Heat Wave Follow Me feels kind of free, honestly. Oh, uh, uh, we'll just die from Gunk Shot, it's fine. <clears throat> I should... The Screamtail's probably still faster, because <laughs> my cargo is not that fast. We hit uh, 180 after a Shell Smash. I guess we could go for a second Shell Smash, but that feels greedy. Maybe the strat is to go for a second second sm Shell Smash, though. But I don't know, if Clefairy goes down, like Flamingo will just come in. I think that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Noble Roar again. I kind of figured. I don't want to get Noble Roared, so Clefairy's just going to keep getting Noble Roared for me. How much does this do? That's not that much, actually. Snarl! Snarl! They're just stat drop city, man. That's kind of mean. You know what? You know what? I don't like your attitude. I'm gonna Shell Smash again. You're being so mean to me right now, I'm gonna Shell Smash again. There's the Howl, finally. They're probably gonna Snarl again, question mark? Second Shell Smash. Now we're faster than Screamtail, and we have... <clears throat> 2.5 times Special Attack? <coughs> Excuse me. But now when Flamigo comes in, it's gonna be insane. Poison jab, probably KOs. Yeah, that's fine. Because now we're faster. Now we are fast boys. The question is, do I eat a jet punch at minus one defense? I have no idea. But I'm just gonna get Flamigo in. It's real Flamigo hours right now. This is the this is the move, guys. We're gonna do great. Um, I don't think they can do anything about this. I'm just gonna... I don't know if I KO, though, is the, is the thing. Am I scared? Let me think about this. 
So we did that much. We're we're not like double the special attack. Maybe a single target move does more damage. I think I have to Terra. 80, 95. Heat Wave's gonna do the most. And then I will just Brave Bird here because I don't want to get Noble Roared. I feel like that's the best play. Flamigo should resist whatever, I think. Uh, no, fighting doesn't resist poison, right? Poison just resists fighting. We were going to have to tear a dragon no matter what, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, KO. Great. Oh, actually, single target Heat Wave might do it. Let's see. That's a lot of recoil, though. Yeah, yeah! Goodbye, Benino. The question is, does Flamingo eat a jet punch? Because I honestly have no idea. Does Flamingo eat a jet punch? Does Delphinator eat a power gem? I don't know. These are the questions. Epitaph? Epitaph. Okay. So what do we do now? I think what I want to do is... Power gem this guy. And protect. Because <clears throat> I kind of don't think I eat a jet punch. Especially not if they like Terra Water. But I guess we'll find out. We could still lose this game and that makes me sad. Alright. I'm assuming we're going for a Terra Water here. No, we're Terrasilized Annihilate. That's actually pretty good for me. Because, yeah, now they resist Heat Wave, but they're weak to Power Gem, and they don't Terrastalize uh, Palafin and do extra damage. There's the Jet Punch into the Protect. That's pretty much what I thought was going to happen. Let's see how much this Power Gem does. That's a lot of damage. Ice Punch. Okay, we hang on. <clears throat> we hang on. Um, let me think. Let me think, let me think. Do, uh, does Mag Cargo eat a Jet Punch now? I honestly have no idea. This is pretty scary, guys. I think what we do here is we double this guy. Right? Okay. That way, no matter where the Jet Punch goes, we probably KO Annihilate. And then Rillaboom can just clean up Palafin. Yes. Okay. We made the right play. We did it. <laughs> Alright. We did it. We can win. In fact, I'm gonna let uh, Mag Cargo take the KO because I can. Probably. Assuming they don't just, like, protect. <laughs> which they could do. Ah, they just give up. Ah, they just give up. They don't want to see Mag Cargo take the last KO. Alright, that went pretty well. That went pretty good. You gotta say. All right, let's get it. Game three. Let's get it. <sighs> Pi. That's my favorite number. Ooh. I made this exact team in Pokemon Showdown. <sighs> How do we beat it, though? Just King Gambit? Question mark? Um, hmm. Hmm. You know? I don't really know. Um, I can't, I don't think I can really stop them from setting up Trick Room unless I, like, land a Sing or something. But even then, they can just redirect. So what do I want to do here? I think what I want to do is lead King Gambit Clefairy. Ooh, actually, wait. 
Yeah, I want to lead King Gambit Clefairy. Why did the color just change all of a sudden? Did you guys see that? That's so weird. I guess King Gambit... I guess this? I don't really know. The color. Did the colors just change for you guys? What happened? Is it my screen? Is it my Switch messing up? My Switch is getting kind of old. It's like a first-gen Switch. Huh. Everything looks okay, I guess. I just... It, everything got, like, red all of a sudden. Ooh. Okay, I wasn't expecting this lead, actually. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> if this was Swords Dance King Gambit, we would be eating right now. All right, let me think about this here. Um, I'm not gonna. Well, they could will o wisp me, right? And that would be pretty bad. They could will o wisp me. A will o wisp right now on turn one would be awful. I think I'm just gonna kowtow cleave and go for the sing. And if I get the sing, then I'll get trick room. Ah, there it is. I really didn't want that to happen, but um, I really wanted to go for sing. <laughs> Silly me for wanting to sing. That's um, That would have done a lot more damage. Well, I missed it anyway. I should have just gone for the follow me. I feel pretty silly, honestly. That's a lot of damage. Uh, we might lose this game. Man, what if I had just led Mag Cargo Clefairy and landed the sink? How cool would that have been? That would have been pretty cool, honestly. I wonder why they led this specifically. Just for the... Hmm. Glacier comes in, okay. Now, I guess technically we could get a flinch here. I think I'm just gonna go for the double up into the Mimikyu. Because, like, we can still technically stop Trick Room. Yeah, that's what I figured it would do. Fifty percent of the time, Sing lands all the time. So, you know? And like I said, we can get a flinch, technically. Nope. Nope, they just get to have Trick Room. Unpunished. Hmm... I think I'm going to switch to Rilla. And, I mean, I guess I'll go for another Sing. I might as well. Clefairy's not really doing anything else. If we can get Swords Dance up, I think we can do okay. Um, but a lot has to go right. Honestly, the first couple of turns went pretty bad for me. Okay, Ice School Crash into Clefairy is more or less what I was expecting. Clefairy live, please. We miss Sing again. Three times in a row, man. Curse? Curse? On Clefairy. Okay. That's interesting. Do we live for the curse? We do. Okay. Well. I'm gonna just do this. And, in fact, I'm gonna switch out Clefairy. And bring King Gambit back in because Rillaboom should be fine here. They might be an Iron Head range to be to be honest. After cutting their own HP for no reason. There's the Ice School Crash. We eat that up. As long as we don't flinch. Will-O-Wisp. Immune. <laughs> no! Not the flinch! Not the flinch. Man. I hate this game. <laughs> Let me think. Um, I guess we just go for it again. We could get high horsepowered, but... I can't really do much about it anymore.
Dang. That really sucks. We really, uh, flubbed this game, huh? That flinch mattered a lot, actually. PBH. Why terrestrialize that? Terra ground? Oh, this high horsepower is gonna hurt. They could miss, I guess, but... Mm, there it is. Miss? That's so mean. <laughs> oh man. That, that sucks pretty hard, honestly. That miss mattered so much. Really? That's crazy. Dang, I got like nothing left. Oh, <gasps> Defiant's pretty good, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Defiant might save us. Because now Flamigo comes in. It's only plus one attack though, right? Because play rough lowers attack. Right? Plus one attack is a lot though for Flamigo. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Just one? Okay. Um, well. Let's try this. We'll see if we can get the will get the mimic you here. Yes. Okay, no more trick room. Hopefully, right? I feel like they're probably gonna just high horsepower King Gambit though. Yep. Can you miss? No miss. King Gambit, I'm so sorry. But now we have Clefairy next to Flamigo. They keep getting those attack boosts too. I'm honestly pretty scared. Ooh, and they still have... They still have a l three Pokemon left. <laughs> Can Flamigo do it, guys? There is that dude. If only they were still Ice-type, honestly. Okay. What do we, what do we want to do here? Hmm. I think I have to just Brave Bird, follow me, and if Glacier misses, we get more turns of follow me, and that's really all we can do, right? Because Glacier's, both of Glacier's moves can miss. I don't know what their last Pokemon is, but there's a chance that maybe it can't KO Flamigo, but I really doubt it. You think plus one Flamigo with a Life Orb can KO the- they don't even miss. Bro, please, I just needed one miss on any of these turns, please. Just one miss. This Glacier is so scary right now. What's the last Mon? Oh. Can that KO me? Probably. So what do we do? Do we go after the Ursaluna because Glacier can miss? I guess. Yeah. Because Ursaluna can't miss. So I guess we go after Ursaluna because Glacier can miss. And if Glacier misses, maybe we get lucky and we can win. I'm so sad about how this game and the first game went, honestly. Don't play at 6 a.m., guys. Miss, 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 miss. Bro! Just one! I just needed one! On any of the last, like, five turns! Ding dang. So close. So, so close. Also, that flinch mattered a lot. If we'd gotten a Swords Dance up, I was 100% going for a helping hang Grassy Glide into that Glacier slot. Alright, well... I tried my best, guys. I really did. The Mag Cargo did great in the one trick game that we actually got to use it, honestly. And that's pretty great. Um, I wish I'd done better. I feel like <laughs> I did so bad. 
Uh, we got a little unlucky. We made some bad plays, but that's okay. That is the nature of the game that we play. If you enjoyed this video, guys, and somehow you're still all the way here at the end, go ahead and leave me that big fat like. Leave me a comment and subscribe. You watched a whole like 30 minute video and you're not subscribed. What are you doing? And with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time. Flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main. Making big reads in my flutter brain. EV's giving me flutter gains. Play it on rain, call it flutter rain. Get what you you run a flutter train. Boss so smooth like a butter main. Flutter main, flutter main, flutter main. Flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main. Making big reads in my flutter brain. EV's giving me flutter gains. Play it on rain, call it flutter rain.